Hello everyone and welcome to Pain Less Universal, a conversation with myself and Welsh. Today I'm joined by an entrepreneur, a mother, businesswoman, and many, many, many other things. You might know her from being on Dragon Den when she turned down 30,000 and 25% stake in the business. You'll be asking her why she made that choice. But the fascinating thing for me is how she's utilized being on Dragon Den to build on successful business, even after turning down the offer. Meet Chica. Hi Dragons, really excited to be here. My name is Chica Russell and I'm founder of Chica's Foods, a taste of the exotic. I'd like to ask you for 30,000 pounds in exchange for 5% equity stake in the business. Chica's produces a range of luxurious West African inspired snacks. These are the foods of my childhood. I left the world of investment banking because I had my, my first child, my son. It was great fun, really enjoyed it, but I wanted to be there for my children. The street which I lived had lots of women, vendors, who would roast yams, fry plantains, toast nuts. For me, when I knew I was going to create a food brand, part of the motivation was creating these amazing snacks so that other people could enjoy them in the way that I used to enjoy them. Welcome to Painless Universal again. As I did previously describe in my introduction, meet Chica. Chica, thank you so much for joining me. I am super delighted. You are my childhood friend and we've, you know, parents friends as well. Um, but your story inspires me in many, many ways. You are a true inspiration. And before we get going into that, without our guests and audience would like to know who is Chica. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm delighted uh, to, you know, to be sharing my story with you. Um, which you already, of course, know much of, and and your and your audience. So, who is Chica? Um, I've been learning about myself actually for for a long time now, and I think Chica is ever evolving and learning. But uh, Chica Russell is um, a mother of three um, and founder of uh, Chica's Snacks. Uh, we make West African inspired snacks, uh, which use good ingredients. Uh, we have a great ethos, and we back good causes, um, all the things which are dear to my heart, like education. Um, the business started five years ago and we um, supply uh, hotels, five-star hotels, retailers, grocery stores, um, international airlines, just super, super yummy snacks, uh, which uh, are good for you and, and taste good as well. Um, yeah, so. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I, I know your journey and one of the things that really inspires me is about your career path. You didn't start off you know, saying you wanted to do snacks. Can you tell me a little bit about your career path and how did you get on to the journey of snacks? Yeah, I mean, kind of, it's just so far apart. Um, but I guess um, related in that I still work a lot with numbers, <laughs> maybe. So, um, so I studied economics um, at, and, um, at university. And then I went into straight into um, industry and I actually started working uh, for, for BT. Um, and I quickly um, moved across into, into a brokerage firm, which I mean, um, I, was, I was there for a few months and I moved to a brokerage firm. Um, and that's where I kind of really got my love of being detailed in numbers and, um, and I was there for two years and then I moved over to um, an investment bank and yeah, I, and I loved it and it was fast paced and I, I learned loads and loads and loads of things. And, um, and then I became pregnant with my, my first son and I thought that, um, I don't know really, it's just, I kind of felt unfulfilled in my, in my role. Um, in, in, in banking. It was lots of learning and lots of long hours and I really enjoyed it but I kind of, I felt that I, I, I needed to do more um, for me and I always had this calling that I need, I was slightly, I guess, on this planet to do more than just work or just have a job, um, which is a little bit strange because I mean, where did that come from? It's just, it's all bizarre. But it coincided with my, my pregnancy with my first son and questioning myself and my, mot my motivations in life really and you know 
being a, a big fan of food and good food, um, I really am a believer that my body's my temple and, um, and, and loving good food. I also kind of didn't really understand why, um, you know, a lot of the foods on, on the supermarket shelves um, didn't represent where I came from. So I had all these things happening in my head all at once, you know, <laughs> the need to do good, the want to have really amazing tasty snacks, the want to have West Africa more uh, mainstream than it was, you know, not just being able to find um, our snacks um, that I grew up with, just finding them kind of in random places or markets, badly presented, packaged, not, not tasting that great. Um, and so that was a, my first challenge was to combine um, or to create something I'm, that I'm going to be super passionate about, combines my love of numbers and problem solving, um, combines my want to, or my need rather, to do some good in this, in this, um, in this world and for the short time I'm gonna be on this planet and to represent um, West Africa in, in, in um, more in the mainstream market that, than it is. And so, yeah, and so basically Chica's was born um, and it's a, it's a snack company that addresses all of, those, all of those things for me. Well, it is an amazing snack company. I mean, I've had all your snacks because obviously I have reached to them. I know where to go buy them. But one of the things that really, really inspired me and fascinated me is that after you created this, you didn't stop there. You said, okay, I want to take this business to the next level. Then you went on to Dragon's Den. How did that come about? And what, what, was your, what was going through your mind when you decided to say, okay, I want to take this um, idea and uh, my, my creation to Dragon's Den and see what the next move will be? Okay, well, um, so Cheek has been going for just, uh, just over a year um, mm. at the time. And I, and I started thinking, okay, so I'm doing pretty well, you know, considering this is not my background. I started this from scratch really by myself. And we've managed to gain all this distribution and the branding and, and people, you know, keep buying the snacks and really enjoy them. As of course I knew they would because they are really tasty. Um, I needed, I wanted more, um, I guess, to partner with someone who has done it before, who I could trust um, and to help me scale the business really. And I thought, oh, um, you know, Dragon's Den is definitely um, a good shout. And so I found myself in talks with the producers, um, did a trial run, they loved it. And then, you know, within a couple of weeks, I was <laughs> going on the show. Um, and I'm really much, much, so much of a gut person. Um, and my gut has carried me so far. And in so many circumstances um, and situations, it's kind of my gut has got me through. And so um, I thought Dragon's Den was going to be right for us. Um, went on without much preparation. Um, but of course, I knew my business inside out. My, um, I'm also a qualified management accountant, actually, I forgot to mention. <laughs> and so I knew my numbers inside out. Um, yeah, so it was just to present this um, idea, uh, you know, that West Africa takes over um, to the Dragons. And thankfully, luckily, they, they liked it. Um, they really loved the snacks. Yes. Um, and all the dragons were amazing. All of them are super charming and very kind. Um, and I was, I was there for hours, hours in those six inch heels. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a fun experience. And I, I see that when I went, when I watched the show, you turned down the offer of 30,000 yeah. 30, pounds of 25% stake in the business. Um, why would you do that? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, when I first went on, um, the offer was um, 20,000 for like 5% of the business. And the thing is, you know, 5% is fine. And the reality is 20,000, 30,000 really doesn't touch the sides in, in scaling a business. Um, I really went on there for the mentorship, um, guidance, help, um, you know, real practical hands-on help of, of whichever dragon I was kind of going to partner with. And, and they were aware that, you know, the amount of uh, money discussed um, or shown wasn't going to do much at all. And so actually um, we both, I and the Dragons were pretty confident of um, the extra funds that would need to be invested. And that was fine. Um, so all the Dragons said yes. And I was really excited because 
I didn't think about it much or the, the thought of rejection didn't cross my mind that they may dislike the snacks, dislike me, dislike the proposition and all say no. So I was overwhelmed actually to receive a full house and really unexpected. So I chose Peter, um, you know, he had great experience. I loved his directness, um, suits me really well when people are very direct. We save a lot of time with, yeah. with that, the direct approach. Um, but then I guess, you know, you know, my dreams came true. He was going to be my partner and yeah, it was awesome. So um, I decided not to go ahead with it in the end because I think, you know, our, our vision didn't really align you know, for the business. To me, Cheek is really, 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 really has to be a force for good. Um, when I think back to my reasons for, for starting the business, it was not just about scaling and, you know, um, having the snacks distributed in, um, you know, across, across the UK and internationally. It wasn't just about making amazingly high quality yet mainstream and affordable snacks. Um, it was all, also about um, the core to our brand, which is Chiquita, you know, the woman in the middle. Um, she's really central to our brand and she stands for so many things, um, you know, powerful, um, you know, um, confident women who are trying to or owning what they do, who, you know, put themselves out there and just strive for, for the best that they can, you know, the best versions of themselves. And this really is not about women who are in top positions in, in companies. You know, it's about every woman doing their thing, no matter what, no matter what that is. And really, you know, I, I was lucky with my upbringing and youngest of seven children. And from a young age, I've always been pushed forward um, and not pushed as in, you know, my mum is overly um, like a pushy mum, but just to be the best version of me, whatever that may be. Um, whether it's a business or whether it's, um, you know, an artist or, or whatever that may be. And my family, my siblings have always encouraged me. And I realize, and I see that in myself because I don't fear failure. Um, I don't fear rejection um, um, because I don't know, maybe it's like a confidence thing. And so for me, fundamentally, um, to have many more confident women in this world, owning their their positions in life, uh, whatever that may be, you really have to start from a young age. You have to start with uh, the girls of today. And so that's what the fundamental um, driver that's behind me working so hard actually in Chicas is. Um, I want to empower more girls. I want to educate more girls. I want to give more girls an amazing opportunity. And it fuels, fuels is my fire. It's the fire in my tummy. Um, and so, you know, anybody kind of going to partner with me has to really be on that journey with me. Otherwise, mm. it's just gonna, it's just not going to work. So, wow. yeah, sadly, I, yeah, I couldn't move forward with. with no, that. that's really. Um, I mean, I love the what your inspirational behind everything, and I think that sinks deep to a lot of things I also focus on. The reason we do this conversation is to actually to bring up inspirational story. And people ask me, are you just interviewing celebrities? I said, no, they have to be people that have inspirational story. And this is what you, you truly stand for. Yeah. What business advice would you give to someone else who, somebody, anybody looking, looking at you wants to go in your footstep? What business advice would you give them? Just something, one business advice you want to tell them to say, okay, I've done this. But if you want to go in my shoe, these are what you should look out for. Okay. Um, this is, this, you know, there's a couple of things, but as cliche as it sounds, you having your own business is not a job. It's, it's uh, you know, it's all consuming. It takes up your, I mean, I mean, it really is, it takes up all of you. It's all encompassing and sucks everything. And so, in order to do it enthusiastically and continuously and get up every time you're knocked down and there are so many knockbacks, mm -hmm. you have to do something you love and you have to do something you're passionate about mm -hmm. because otherwise it becomes a task, it becomes a chore and you just won't stick at it. And if you do it only for financial reward, it's just, you will not be able to continue unless you're super, super lucky and you dream of an idea, it comes to fruition and it blossoms easily and beautifully. I've not heard of that happening for anyone yet. And all my uh, friends, entrepreneurial friends, mentors, 
they have been to hell and back, mm. you know, with, with their, with their success stories, but their mission, um, has really been a journey for them and um, one which they it, it, it motivates them from from within because that's how they've been able to you know um, continue and uh, you know and transverse the challenges yeah so who are your biggest cheerleaders and how do you keep positive when things are not going so well how do you keep your how do you keep it going um, my biggest cheerleaders, I mean, family is so important. Um, and, you know, I'm really a tactile person and I love, and I love touching, um, I'm always touching and I, and I love, and I love cuddles as well. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's my two year old, you know, she would, uh, she looks at me and says, mommy, I love you. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need a cuddle. Can I have a cuddle? You know, so, uh, things like that. Um, I mean, all of my, yeah. Um, my, my siblings as well. Um, my, my good friends, I have a lot of um, good friends from, you know, age five and, um, and one of them actually, I was on the phone to earlier this week, uh, because, you know, I was, I was sad and she, she, she had a, a conference call with her job and she's oh i only have 10 minutes and then so i spoke to her and the next thing is an, an hour had passed um and i and i seldom need that kind of support actually um but it was it was so nice to just i don't know just have someone i don't know to yeah someone yeah, listen yeah. and um mm. yeah so yeah i i find inspiration and encouragement from lots of different places actually yeah. sometimes looking at a flower yeah. makes me smile from within that's good. Um, your tea, um, you were invited for tea with the Prime Minister. Um, which one was that and how was that? How did you get on that list? Yeah, um, it, was, um, it was with uh, Theresa May. Um, and yeah, it, was, it, was, it came as a surprise. And um, they had emailed, they had, her office had emailed um, into, into, into Chica's just to um, introduce themselves and ask if, it, if I could come and join them. And, um, I, and my team forwarded it to me and I just deleted it. I, I read the first line and, and pressed delete because obviously it had to be spam. And, and the email looked, it just looked slightly strange as well. Um, and then um, about a week, two weeks later, the same email again. And this time um, I didn't um, delete it and I thought I should ask and I, and I forwarded it um, actually um, to um, my, my business uh, manager. And I said, what do you kind of think of this? Um, and she was like, mm, I'm not sure, it looks, it looks a bit. Anyway, and I thought actually I should just check the email um, you mm. know, address and it looked, it looked genuine. And, um, and so one of my office uh, members just called and, and asked, oh, you know, we've received this email, is it? And I said, oh yes, you know, um, we had sent it before and we hadn't had a response, which is obviously not, not normal for them, for someone not to respond. And yeah, and it was confirmed. And so it was, yeah. So I went there uh, three times actually, um, which, was, which was nice. Um, yeah, and I had a tour. Um, yeah, super, yeah, it was very nice. And, and I felt very honored to, to, um, to have been there. Um, you know, little old me. <laughs> you know, one of the things that keep me keep me going is that I have mentors around the world um, that really inspire me, that helps me through difficult times, especially people who've gone through similar things like I have, and very senior people. In your life, do you have mentors that keeps you going as well? Yes, um, I have loads um, of mentors. Um, my husband's a mentor to me massively. Um, in so, I mean, every area: work, personal life, me, development. Um, my mum is a mentor to me, um, support, uh, my sister's a mentor. And then I have my business mentors as well. Um, my investors, um, you know, uh, Marco of lastminute.com is a massive mentor of mine, really supportive, um, very encouraging. Um, and I mean, I have loads, um, Sahar, um, always there when I need, um, she's the founder of Coffee Republic. Um, yeah, just doesn't matter what time of day it is any questions I have anything I'm unsure about ideas to run by in spite of their own very challenging you know careers and, and difficult times even in, even during this time you know of, of COVID everyone has their battles you know Cheek has definitely has had is having 
actually continues to have its COVID struggles. Um, but I, if I drop them a message, literally, they respond and give me their time. And I'm, yeah, so very, very grateful to these kind of these people. Well, that's great. And what next? Where do we see more of your snacks, Chica Snack? Um, yeah, I mean, we have got a lot going on uh, right now. So my business partner, my head of marketing, um, technical, we have developed um, a new range of, of, of um, snacks, nut mixes as well. Um, sweet, crunchy, savory, crunchy and um, those will be in um, in a few mainstream um, grocery outlets in the next four months. Uh, our rice crisps actually recently launched um, and those are incredible. Those are in Ocado co-op across the nation. Uh, Waitrose, those are super yummy. And next for Chica's is um, an amazing project which we're working on um, mm -hmm. and it's having more more having huge presence in Africa and going really completely back to our roots um, impacting directly lives out there helping the economy to flourish um, whilst doing what I love which is numbers problem solving um, great snacks and doing good so um, people in in the UK Europe uh, Middle East can already kind of access our snacks because we're quite strong in those areas and now I'm going to going to bring the joy back back to Africa so that's a huge project um, which we we've, we've just kicked off so it'll be running full steam ahead for the next year so I'm going to find my time massively split between here um, and West Africa I mean here being the UK um, but yes yeah, it's, it's all fun because you know we're achieving the um, our goals um, we really want to have touched um, and help to empower 38,000 girls um, over the next four years. Mm -hmm. And so I've got to kind of get some coal in this, in this engine. Yeah, no, that's amazing, Chica. I think our final story um, conversation is always message of hope. Um, people who are, looking to, who are looking to you as an inspiration or to them, uh, what, would, uh, what message of hope would you give to anyone listening at, as your final message of hope? Believe in yourself mm. really believe in yourself believe in your dreams mm. um, and you have to understand that challenges are there to be overcome you really the amount of hurdles and challenges that I've come across and I have come over if I had stopped at the first 20 or 30 or 50 Chicas would not be what it is today. We wouldn't have impacted the lives we have or have the opportunity to continue this, this journey. So um, realize that anything that doesn't break you will, will, will make you stronger. And to the extent that sometimes you feel, I just will not, and I cannot be broken by any challenge. Um, and I will always overcome every single one. You have to believe in yourself believe in that and and it doesn't matter how slow you you know it takes you to get to that goal you will get there wow chica russell founder of chica snacks thank you so much for joining me on this painless conversation you are truly amazing and i really look forward to joining you and seeing you on everything your journey keeps inspiring people because you are truly amazing thank you thank you so much for having me um being an honor and yeah, and I, and I love seeing you because you're an inspiration yourself, a, a beautiful inspiration, not just physically, but actually <laughs> internally, you're just a wonderful person and I'm honored to be here with you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much.